Yes, bana babu vivi mtazamaji wa Rick Media leo nimepata nafasi na ni bahati sana hii kukutana na Queen eh, wa Night Shows. Mimi naweza nikasema hivyo nchini Tanzania Diva the Boss amechukulia maarufu sana kwenye vipindi vya Malavi Davi na of course sasa hivi anaiwakilisha Wasafi uh, Wasafi TV pamoja na Wasafi FM kupitia kipindi cha Lavi Davi. Tunazungumza na mengi sana. Tumepata hii bahati kwa sababu kuna mengi ambayo yanaacha maswali huko ukizingatia Diva na mashabiki Diva ni brand, you know. Diva, mambo vipi? Poa, oh, how are you? I'm fine, niko poa. Niko poa, niko na mtumia message mume wangu na mimi nitachelewa bana. Yeah man. <laughs> He's very straight. Ana nataka unapomaliza urudi. Watu na watu wanaanza kusema Diva kwa ustaki alikuwa nao, basi anampeleka kweli mume wake, unajua? Anapompigia na pombembeleza hapa. Yaani anapomtreat anapostyle kutreatiwa as a husband. Jamaa nimesikia wanawake huko, eh? Diva usta wake wote. No. Tajiri wote lakini anamnyenyekea. Ni, ni mume wangu ni tumeoana ninatakiwa nimeheshimu hivyo like babe. Wanasema eti hawakuwahi kuhisi mimi naweza kubembeleza kuongea na wewe vizuri kwamba nitachelewa kurudi na interview. Nimekuweka loud speaker hapo. Nashawaje? Wanasema hawajawahi kuhisi naweza nikakupigia kwamba babe mtachelewa nyumbani nafanya interview. na alisi ya mtu kuolewa sasa. Mm. <laughs> 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 Mwashemeji yuko mikono salama bwana tunazungumza naye mauli matatu tu. Haina Bwana tumepata bless kutoka kwa shemeji yetu hapa. E, tumepata muda mzuri. Jioni mida mida mibovu eh. Diva ametoka kwenye kipindi lakini ametupa nafasi ni heshima ilioje. Diva um, Ongera sana kwanza kwa kazi nzuri ambayo umekuwa ofisi unaifanya na kuinspire vijana. Thank you so much. Okay. I so. said it once nikuja wasafi kwa kazi. It's nothing else. <laughs> yes, and okay. I'm doing it. Okay. Mm. Sawa, kumekuwa kuna maneno kwamba ah, ojo diva zamani ushazoea ukifanya interview zako basi ni master flan hivi classic ndo nakaa na wewe unazungumza na wewe. Lakini una kupitia kipindi cha Lavi Davi naweza nikasema sasa hivi ni kama season flan imekuepo ya unachukua watu ambao tofauti tofauti sio lazima uwe star. Cha msingi tu umekuwa ukifanya jambo flani unaweza kumchukua uigizaji wale ambao unachipkia umewapa hiyo nafasi pia. Yes. Kani the video vix and the people has stories. That's what I'm trying to do and then I'm already tena kwenye daily stars nafanya interview karibu na Ali Kamu before I get chaguliwa Yanga I had interview with Al Bugatti Haji Manara I predicted the ndoa before it get okay. So nimefanya interview leo nimetoka kufanya interview hapa na official nay I did interview exclusive with Nifer so I'm just doing my job as a journalist and as a media personality yeah. Na unaje hii watu wanasema ah hivi bwana wewe anauja tu hivi najua nini je kumekuwa na vicontent flani hivi ambavyo pengine watu hawajazoea kuviona I'm doing my job again. I, I am very creative. Me and my team, Darot Tonesmo is my producer. Uh what about now to Nashirikiana umu and Bonafanya now Gazi? I'm doing my job with my team for Lavi Davi. So the man on a content amazing. It's a it's a it's a day work. And uh, Anzaga Subui um Nikiam kat na begin asim what are we gonna do today? Nani atakuja okay so I'm late. Mimi wa send him as wali. I do freestyle kija it's a one on one and nitakapokuona tuende story na ende inapanda hivyo. I'm do, I'm really doing my job. I think mimi target yangu ni being on the next level like Oprah, like Ellen DeGeneres, huko. Yaani mimi ndo nawaza huko. Okay. Yeah. Sa, sa. Unajua unaweza kufanya interview nyingi sana lakini kuna interview moja ambayo naamini boss ashe kupigia simu kwamba dad diva hii asi umeua sana mama. Diamond na Manisha interview gani ambayo alisha kuiappreciate mpaka kavuta waya kwambia diva yo this is the best. Wewe ni mkali sawa lakini this is the best. And I appreciate interviews zangu zote and he's always saying yani wewe ni mtu mmoja lakini utasema mtu 20. Yeah. So nakumbuka I had this interview ilikuwa moja kali sana sana. As a matter of fact, Jules interview and Ifa he was watching. Uh nyingi anafuatilia. Baka sangine alikuwa na post insta stories and all that kama anaangalia. Na mimi I want to make him proud because yeye ndo amenileta na na wakati mimi nakubaliana naye I told uh, Diamond and Nelly kulikuwa na jamaa kwamba I'm here to work. I'm here to give the best night nice show and I think nimefanya. Then my people people are just mixing it. People think Lavi Davi ni show ya mahusiano. Lavi Davi ni show ya lifestyle. Mahusiano is just part of it. Ndio maana kuna segment nne mle. 
kuna segment ya asali shout out sio request kwa baby kwa marafiki yani ile kujiachia alafu hii tuz ndio watu naongea vitu vyote mpaka umbea yani umetoka wapi umeenda wapi umbea wetu sisi ni wa fact kwamba uh, tumesikia hiki hebu clear the rumor that's what i'm trying to do mimi mimi nimesomea journalism kabisa professionally i'm a journalist kwa hiyo najua exactly what i'm doing so i don't need anybody to just teach me how to do my job sawa aina shida. Uh, diva kumekuwa kuna kuna kuna, kuna issue ambazo zinakuwa zikiendelea sana sikuchoshi sana. It's a night now. Uh, kuhusiana na wewe na gigi tumeona jana kupitia mashamsham wamekupigia simu lakini bado it's like kuna misunderstanding mambo haya kufika mwisho kati yako wewe na gigi. Wewe ni mtangaza why did they call me? Why did they even call me for that? Mimi na gigi level mbili tofauti. Mimi sio msanii, sitaki kiki za kijinga na madrama ndo maana sitakai kumuongelea lately simuongelei in any way kwa sababu hata ananipenda eti analia mimi sio namfanyeje public sympathy ananiletea don't bring drama kwenye radio kama ananipenda angeni check mwenye angenitafuta tu kama anahisi kama alivyosema alinikosea was easy for, for her to look at me mbona mimi unajua mimi fresh ujue lakini naona sio ukosefu wa nidhamu interview here and there so some of the interviews zilizofanyika wasafi nimewaomba waziondoe kwa sababu nimechukua sheria mkononi kwa sababu unajua anavoanza anaongea usipi nitampiga hivyo ana kiti mam kweli afu mimi sio mdhaifu yani hajawahi kunisogelea kutaka kunipiga na kunigusa afu mimi sio level zake mimi mtu mzima ujue mimi na miaka 34 unajua mimi mimi i treat nifa nai lean kama wadogo zangu if, if you respect me as a sister mimi nakupenda pia kama mdogo wangu kama unaleta disrespect i keep my distance na wewe kama unazidisha disrespect mimi na kesi yake sikwa hii kuifuta iko central pa kwa hiyo nilichofanya ni mashawasiana mwana sheria wangu na alimpigia nafikiri na bado anamtafuta na sihitaji mazungumzo zaidi kwa sababu nimeona kuna interview nyingine nasikia anaongea ujinga so nikaambia mtuchukue sheria ya mahakamani kulikuwa na deal nasikia ni sign by the way you, jana after the interview wakaanza kunipigia simu analete hizo story oh this is what is this nini sisi wewe ni brandi we don't want a brand ambayo tutakatufanya nayo kazi for digital ways to kuchafuliwa so the moment wale wamenipigia simu i tried to call kila ni usika kwanza naomba hiyo interview hapo ishushwe kila ni post jamani naomba uh, naomba please na ina issues kwa hiyo amenikosesha kwanza deal langu ni almost, uh, almost the money karibia milioni 50 as a brand ambassador I can even show you kwa wale agency ambao nimeanza kufanya nao kazi corporate wakanaambia we should take legal actions ili mtu asikuchukulie poa any brand. Afu mimi sio msanii. Mimi sitoi nyimbo labda yeye anataka kutoa nyimbo. Mimi sitoi nyimbo, mimi kazi yangu kutangaza. Na sijamuongelea mimi. I've never mentioned her. Me what I'm doing I go with the trend. Yeah, Nifa ana trend. Come, let's talk. I'm not an interviewer, I talked about her. So I wonder why were they called me that day? Kwa sababu I don't think I'm a, if you want to make peace you do it you with the well the less you simu nilipokea simu kwa sababu i respect dida na mpenda yani umeona na yeye mwenyewe alinicheki akaniambia samahani kama umekwazika lakini unavoona mtu anaendelea kwa sababu yani yani kwa selewi what, what was that where did you buy that what was that kidi inaonekana kama vile yes after na tunaanza drama that's being a drama queen i'm not a drama queen i'm a diva baba pengine katika kipindi ambacho umekuwa mkifanya kazi kwenye taasisi moja mlishawahi kutofautiana Siri nikwambie no yani stack yani mambo yake kabisa kama nataka pia sawa aendelee na mambo yake yani me that's what i want if you wanna live your life live your life why am i being involved with you yani kila unapomuona kwa sababu unavosemekana alianza yeye kuongea ikabidi wale waseme kwa sababu diva mwenyewe yupo let's just call her sasa mimi i'm doing my job kama leo niomita naye nimeongea naye mambo tofauti Nime mwita nifa naongea naye mambo top. Who is she for me to talk about? Her? Alisema hata kuongelewa I personally keep my my mouth out of her name. Why would she go on see any all that what what for any? Alafu mi na yeye yani I'm fano she said something like mama ana umri sana mamangu. By looking at me naweza kumzaa gigi. Wewe mtangazaji hapo unaviona mimi naweza kumzaa gigi? unaviona naweza kumzaki hapana kwa reti mi, miaka yako ambayo umesema 34 na yeah, umri wake tofauti hali hapa um, nilivyo naweza kumzaa yule hapana ana umri gani yani mpaka mimi ni mzee au mimi na kwa nani mimi na miaka 50 40 yenyewe sijafika kaka yangu kwanza kuzaliwa hajafika 40 ujue i think some people really need help alafu mimi sio mtoto mimi ni mke wa mtu naelewa eh 
ni, ni na wadogo zangu kama yeye wananiheshimu kuna watu kwenye jamii wananiheshimu kuna watu wafanya nao biashara ndio maana umeona i'm really trying to do my job and not to be in the middle of some vitu ambavyo havina faida kwenye maisha yangu asa when you are playing with somebody's brand baka anaanza kukosa deal ambazo wamezi watu wake wa agency wamezishughulikia deal moja mimi nimekosa she has to to be responsible for that sababu angesema ah basi nisamee kama alivyokuwa anasema lakini anaanza tena kuongea vitu vya ajabu kwa nini unanilazimisha nikusamee ni uoni kama vile unatakiwa sasa wewe as, as dada sasa uchukue yeah, maamuzi kumwomba kumaliza sasa hivi Mimi was very okay sina la tatizo naye lakini sasa ninavyoona ma interviews ya ajabu ajabu afu mtu anaongea uongo vitu ya yani like unajua yeye she is living for that eh? ndio maisha ambayo anaishi kama msanii she is living for that I'm living kwa, kwa profession yangu this is my career this is my profession Mimi ukija kwenye show nitakuuliza na chochote kukuuliza I'm just doing my job lakini yeye asini involve kwenye drama zake za maisha yake usanii ni so msanii. Kwa hiyo legally I'm taking action. Tanzania na Basata ambao wanamiliki kama msanii, nitamwambia ndio niwaambia sasa maana sheria yangu Ruben nime, nime, I even alimpigia. Umeona eh? Kwa hiyo ninachofanya kila interview anaongea negative. It's either nawaambia kama watu online mimi napatana nao kwamba naomba u remove hiyo. Kwa sababu hii this is legal. Sijaiki kufuta kesi yake hizi zote hizi all the link nafikiri umeziona eh tayari barua iko printed na watamfikia na ni mahakamani moja kwa moja unajua saa nyingine kama kama mtu una una unakuwa mstaarabu kujiepusha na mtu lakini mtu anaisili ya trend lazima muingize diva alafu hiyo trend yako unayoleta ya drama ambayo inaathiri kazi zangu na biashara zangu unazofanya mimi na, na familia because she said sina mtoto no mama not responsible weka ambaye nani sina mtoto ananijua mimi yule sikaniona kwenye media you know you have no idea what if na mtoto labda huko wakati tunasoma nipata mtoto regardless okay kama sina mtoto wewe inakuhusu nini responsibilities azijali azijali watoto mimi na familia mzee na babu yuko tango huko kijijini umeelewa na baba angu, na wadogo zangu nafanya misaada watoto yatima usitafute public sympathy kwa namna hiyo kwa ku disrespect others I've never I've never I've never talked bad about her. I just say like it kwa nini? Yeye ndo she was waking up and tukana. Sasa cha ajabu sheria ilivyokuwa nzuri. All the evidence zipo. Kwa mimi ninachofanya ni kuchukua sheria kama alitaka kumaliza asingefanya anavyoendelea kufanya. Lakini ndio maana umeniona nimenyamaza kimya Rick. Sababu tayari my lawyer is working on it na nimemwambia siki anataka hii iende mahakamani ili anze kuheshimu watu najua eh. Mimi mimi wale wenzie wananiheshimu kama dada and I treat them kama dada wadogo zangu. Say if she doesn't respect people, acha sheria ichukue mkondo wake. Mimi sitaki sasa hivi kiki za ajabu ya aina yoyote. Na pengine akikufuata sasa kama dada muyamalize no, no, personal. Nafikiri kwa sababu watu walijitahidi kumweka kwa sababu aliomba yeye imalizike kupitia radio and then she created a drama and akaanza kutukana kwenye baadhi ya interviews. Mi na yeye we have nothing to talk about. Acha acha tukutane mahakamani she mwana sheria wangu. Ruben is working on it na na hakika na hapa Mwenyezi Mungu yupo. Simwachi sababu sijaona sababu ya yeye kuendelea eti wanaandika sio kamshushia kichambo kamchamba wao ningefika wasafi ningempiga wewe unaniongelea mimi unanijua naweza kanisogelea ule kunifanyia chochote ananiona labda I'm very soft mimi so soft mzee ndio maana huwa spendi kuongea ongea urafiki unajua mimi nishasema spendi mazoea if you need something interview nini niite mbona mimi fresh mbona anakukubalia nitakwambia njoo we can talk about it but kama unataka interview za views mimi nafanya kazi nafanya kazi yangu kama mwandishi wa habari na nimesomea hii kazi uwezo ukanipangia what to do with my job wakati mimi kipindi changu kwenye top 3 vipindi vinafaa vizuri Tanzania unanipangia unanifundisha nini if you want peace you love me so much mpaka unalia kuna kuna njia ya kusema anyways but i'm sorry forgive me for with whatever happened i would say sawa it's okay lakini sio unapoenda tena to the next interview unaanza kujitapa kwa sababu kama sababu unapenda tu kuropoka every day yani unatafuta next victim unaanza na huyo kesho yule kesho kutwa yule kesho kutwa yani wewe cycle yako ni kugomba na gomba na kutukana watu kwa hili ambalo linaendelea kwa hili ambalo linaendelea gigi uh, ba, diva ni wazi kwamba hata bosi wako ambao umekuwa kimuheshimu sana akisimama sasa kama msanii lakini pia kama bosi Diamond akasema kwamba diva hebu tumsamee kwa sababu uh, gigi na Diamond ni washikaji pia wamekuwa kishirikiana hivi bosi mwingize bosi wangu if you are watching this 
wasi, yani naomba usiingilie kwa sababu kuna level ya kukosiana heshima inaendelea afu mimi sipendi sijui unanielewa mimi damu nampenda na muheshimu sana right now i would never kumfanyia kitu ambacho kitamkwaza sasa kwa nini anakwaza wenzie why is she doing that kwa sababu anajua atakimbilia same yeye anasema mimi najua sheria mimi nafanya sheria ufanya journalism nafanya law my dear one year najua sheria najua psychology sasa na, ni, ni sasa si, kwanza sikuelewa kwa nini imeingizwa kwenye hivyo vitu sasa mimi sina duka la nguo mjini sijawahi kusafiri kwenda sehemu nyingine yoyote kwa nini diva was there with a part of it was it planned a superstar ama superstar anaingizwa vipi kwenye interview ya watu kukuzwa nguo sijui nini akati mimi nafanya kazi na kama taasisi yenyewe ninayofanyia kazi yeye anajua diva anafanya kazi i'm really working hard here man nafanya kweli kazi yani mimi wana make diamond proud sasa naashangaa yani why i was involved in the middle of it sija kuongelea sija kutaja you love me so much you cry so why are you talking trash on the other interviews if you want peace make peace with someone don't don't tarnish their brand just because you have a baby una mtoto it doesn't mean you disrespect watu usijui umenielewa sipati public sympathy usipati usitafute public sympathy kwa sababu una mtoto yani hizo hizo njia hizo za kiza kisaikolojia si tunazijua usikosee watu kwa sababu una mtoto kwa sababu utalia utasema una mtoto we all love the baby i love the baby she is pretty but if the mom is be- misbehaving then the law should just hamna ile kwa juu ya sheria especially in she sasa hivi Tanzania ile kwa wazivi kwa me i told my lawyer deal with it peacefully akikisha uh, anafikishwa barua ya mwanasheria na tunaenda mahakamani with the case my lawyer will take care of it i'll pay for everything that i'm supposed to pay ili siku nyingine aheshimu brand za watu aheshimu watu wajue heshima ni kitu cha bure tu and uh, people think like I, i don't hate her i've never hated her lakini mimi ukinikosea i'm very straight na keep my distance na if you want me to forgive you mimi so mtu ambaye utani pressurize to forgive nitakusamee mwenyewe nitakapojisikia sasa you want me to forgive you now then kesho naenda kumtukana kwenye media nyingine kwenye online tv you want me to forgive you now then unasema vitu vya ajabu ajabu afu yani mimi nina mambo kibaya kufanya sasa hivi ya kibiashara unajua yani wewe mwenyewe unaona hata page yangu iko kibiashara kweli kweli na post Ricky sijui kuna interview mtu kafanya naandika pale kama journalist nikifanya interview I'll make sure I balance it Yaani ninajua yani nina mimi nimesomea journalism tena nimefaulu hasa. Kwa hiyo unajua ninachokifanya sasa so, mimi sitaki mazoea na watoto. Ukinipenda kama dada na kuniheshimu mimi mtakupenda kama mdogo wangu mtakuheshimu. Lakini mimi na wewe tuko sawa kiumri tuko sawa kivyo vyote basi embo heshima basi watu kama uwezi kuheshimu watu then acha sheria imfundishe. Na I'm telling you I'm not backing down. Haki ya Mungu nakuapia Mwenyezi Mungu mamangu umefue kaburini naenda naye mahakamani. Bas sawa, uh, tutasubiri kuona nini ambacho mahakama itasema kuhusiana na swala hili zima la diva na na gigi. Maana mimi naenda naye kwa as a defamation, defamation case wewe kuchafua wenzio. Na na every evidence against her. Alafu hizi cases zinachukuaga muda. Kwa hiyo kama ana lawyer yake tutenda hivyo mahakamani. Ndio mpaka mahakama itakapotoa hukumu lakini trust me I'm on a safe side.